Hey everybody, today is the first video in a little mini series that I am doing on my channel in the month of August. August is the time when most people go back to school. I don't go back till the first week of September, but there's a lot of um, requests for back to school looks and I think it's always something fun to do back to school things or think about what you want to wear um, when you're back in school. So I just want to share a couple of looks with you throughout this week. I will be putting a video up every day of this week and then at the end there will be a giveaway um, of products. I won't give it away quite yet what's in it but I just wanted to share that with you. There will be a giveaway at the end of this week and this mini series. Um, today what I did was just did something really quick and easy for a Monday morning. Um, Mondays are kind of a little bit rough for most people. Um, you're coming off of a weekend where you had a lot of fun. You might be a little bit tired so you want something quick and easy on a Monday morning. Something that's not going to take up too much time and so you can get out the door really quickly. So whether you're going to school in high school or you've got an early class on Monday or you're just going back to work or something, I hope this look um, is something you might try and is easy enough for you. So if you want to see how to get the look, please keep watching. Okay, so like I said, we're going to keep this look really simple. It's like a Monday. You're really tired. You're getting up. You have class. So I'm going to start with my L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream and Light. And I feel like this gives my skin enough coverage, but it's still light and easy to use. So I'm just going to get a little bit on my fingers, kind of rub it in between, place it on my face and just start massaging it in. Then next I'm just going to take my favorite Insta Age Rewind um, Eraser for Dark Circles by Maybelline for my concealer. Just get a little bit underneath the eye, just kind of blend it out. And I'm just going to take my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and put a little bit of this on each eyelid. Just blend it up to the eyebrow. Then I'm taking my favorite um, easy drugstore palette and it's a CoverGirl Trio and it's in Shimmering Sands. I know I've talked about this before, other gurus have talked about it before. Um, I'm just going to take this lightest pink shade right here and I'm taking a Sigma large shader brush in E60 and I'm just going to get this all over the brush and just start sliding it over my eyelid. This is pretty light and it's a pretty neutral color so you don't have to be like too perfect with it. That's what I really like about this. This this trio is so easy to use, so simple. I'm also going to get a little bit on the brush and use it as a brow highlight, just a little bit, very lightly. And I'm going to get a little bit on just kind of the tip or the corner of it and I'm going to use that as my inner corner highlight as well. Just trying to keep it really easy with one brush so you're not um, trying to switch between a whole bunch of brushes on a Monday morning. Then I'm going to take a medium angled shading brush. This is an E70 and I'm going to just take the middle color here. It's like kind of a light brown with a little bit of taupe in it. Tap off the excess. I'm just going to take this through the crease. Once you've got your crease color laid down, I'm just taking a blending E25 brush by Sigma. I'm just going to kind of blend that out so there's no harsh line where that stops. This is a pretty easily blendable color. That's why I really like this one for the crease. It's really, really nice. Now if you have a little bit more time, you can use this dark brown color here, the furthest one over. You can use it in the outer V of your eye just to darken up a little bit. 
but if you don't have enough time or you're just really in a rush, I think this is just fine for the eyes for the eyeshadow. For the sake of saving time, I'm not going to use any eyeliner. I think it's just fine. I'm just going to curl my eyelashes really quick here. I'm taking my favorite mascara at the moment. It's the Lash Blast Volume. This is just the Olympics packaging. And it's in black as black. And if you have time, just do another quick coat over the top lashes. I think mascara is something that can really kind of brighten up your face and make your eyes look a little bit more polished even if you don't have time for eyeshadow. Then to save time on bronzer and blush, I'm just going to use this Milani um, Illuminating Face Powder in Amber Nectar. Um, it kind of has some um, blush colors in there, a little bit of bronze, and it's a little bit highlighting so I'm just going to use this on a Sonia Kashuk brush, I don't know if it's got a name. I've had it for quite a while. I'm just kind of kind of spin it around in the product here, tap off the excess and just kind of apply it to my cheeks in where I would normally apply um, bronzer. As you can see it kind of gives a little bit of a glow and it puts some color on your cheek but it's not, um, you don't have to go through the step of doing both bronzer and blush. And then last but not least, a product I've really been loving lately is the Baby Lips um, by Maybelline. And this one is Peach Kiss. This has an SPF in it. It's just like a nice light neutral color. Works just like a lip balm. Gives your lips just a little bit of color, just a little bit of something. And it's really easy to reapply throughout the day. Really easy to carry around. It's just like a lip balm. You don't need a mirror. So I think it's something that's really nice for like a really quick um, little something in the morning and throughout the day. Okay, so that's it for a really easy Monday look. A lot of times you're rushed in the morning on a Monday and you just kind of want to um, put on something that makes your face look a little bit more fresh. So I tried to keep it to um, a minimum amount of products and tools used and just make it really simple. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you soon. Bye.